so last night, Nathan and I were in um, kind of a rush to get out here and get a lot of stuff covered. We were supposed to get a frost last night. There's like a polar vortex that came through in the middle of May. It's been 80 degrees. It's cool, you know, whatever. Um, so we were, we were covering everything, using what we could to get it all covered. Um, so I'm coming out here to look at the stuff, um, look at everything, but really look at the stuff that we didn't get covered to see what it looks like. Um, Cause there was, you know, we didn't have enough things to cover. I mean, we literally just scrambled to get as much covered as possible because not everything needs to be. Um, but I'm looking and I don't think it frosted. I've got some cucumbers. They look fine. My basil looks fine and my basil would have died. So I do not think, nope, there's my basil. It's not wilted. It does, it, it will turn black if it frosts. It did not frost here. So that's exciting. Um, you know, it looks like we wasted our time last night, but I would have been so upset if I had lost everything. So I'm about to uncover everything. I want to show you guys. I would like, we literally, this is a little sauce bowl from in the house and it's on my newly sprouted, um, pickling cucumbers. So like we literally, this is it. These are how tiny these things are. We literally use everything, and here's another one. Everything that we could to get everything covered. Um, we use buckets. I took the water off of my old chicken waters. We used pots. These are the beds that had the most stuff in it. So we used the greenhouse cover that we have. We used sheets. Um, I used mason, mason jars, because I have a lot of mason jars since I can. Um, and we just covered everything um, that we could. Couldn't get like the sweet potatoes and stuff covered, but if you look, they're all right there. And they look fine. Maybe not super happy from the cold. This one is kind of, doesn't look thrilled, but it's okay it will live so yay i'm excited it was supposed to get down to like 37 last night and i guess it didn't i don't think it did because right now i waited um it's like nine o'clock i think i was too nervous to come out here and see if i'd lost everything um because covering the stuff was very difficult because we can't i mean we can't have greenhouse tarp pushing down all the tomatoes so we had to put stuff in the middle to raise it up and it was just it was stressful so it's nice to to see that our hard work paid off i guess and you know it's fine um the bees look active so they look like they did well because it's it's actually i put a sweater on thinking it was going to be cold and it feels pretty awesome out here right now um the sun is out warming everything up the bees i can see them you probably can't see them in the video, but I can see them flying around. So that means they're coming out, which means it's warm enough for them. They don't like anything below like 60. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to update you guys. That's exciting. I'm really happy. Um, looks like everything survived. So yay. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment. But I just wanted to kind of let you guys know it happens to everybody on the gardening pages I'm on on Facebook and Instagram. Everybody was kind of panicked because we didn't know what was going to happen. It's snowy. Apparently, it's supposed to snow in um, some parts of not far from us, which is crazy for the middle of May for here. Um, in more northern states, it's semi-normal but here this is not normal this doesn't happen our average last frost date is april 1st and it's the middle of may right now that that this potentially happened so this is bizarre and crazy but um we are safe we got it we did it i'm excited so don't forget to subscribe and i will see you guys later bye